Hello, my name is John Lee and I'm the president of Alpha Training and Consulting. And I have a true passion for preparing students for ASQ certification exams. But today I'm going to answer the question, what is the CRE body of knowledge? CRE being Certified Reliability Engineer. Wow, what a great certification. Uh, the money you spend on getting your COE, CRE certification and the money you get in return has to be one of the best values in education. Um, and I have another lecture on salaries, but CRE is one of the highest salaries out there of the ASQ certification exams. So it's also one of the more difficult exams, but uh, man, I'd greatly recommend you get CRE certified. It's a great certification. All right, they break it into just five basic categories of the body of knowledge that they'll test you on. Reliability fundamentals there. You can see they test you 25 questions on that element of the body of knowledge. Risk management, which is also 25. Probability and statistics for reliability, there's 35 questions there. Reliability planning, testing, and modeling, 35 questions there. So those are the big hitters. Uh, probability and statistics and reliability planning. Life cycle reliability, there's 30 questions there. And guess what? They're going to throw in uh, 15 beta questions for you also. That gives you a total of 165 questions for the certification exam. Now, beta questions, those are just questions that ASQ has had people write, and they're putting it in an, a testing environment for the first time. They're going to see how these test questions perform. They're going to see maybe how long does the student take in answering this question. They may see the pass rate on it. And they may see, they will also look, has anyone complained about this test question? And if they look good, then they'll use them in future exams. But they do not grade these. They, I'm sure they know the pass rate of them. But they won't, these won't count against you. Beta test question, if you miss one, it won't count against you. Of course, if you get it right, it's not going to help you either. Uh, so just so you're aware of that. So again, that gives you a total of 165 questions. It's a four and a half hour exam, which gives you one minute and 38 seconds per question. And that's not a lot of time for this test because a lot of these are mathematical in nature. So what does that tell you? You better know your stuff if you're going to pass this thing in a four and a half hour exam for 165 questions. You have to be on top of your game to make that happen. Now this bar chart tells you the same thing as that table, just a little more graphical. You see the big hitter here is reliability planning and testing and modeling. It's also one of the more challenges elements of the body of knowledge. And probability, statistics for reliability, those are the two big hitters in this body of knowledge. Notice I've also given you a link to the ASQ website uh, in case you want to look at this information. That's where I got this information from. And this may even be more helpful to you. I created a class to prepare students for the ASQ certification exam. These are all the titles and how much time I spend on each of the lectures. And uh, at the end, we also go over the CRE primer, and I lecture on each one of those. You can tell which uh, chapters are most difficult for students because that's where I spend the most time. Notice chapter four, I spend almost three hours on that, and two and a half hours on chapter seven. Those are the two most difficult elements of the body of knowledge uh, from the primer. Then, of course, we give you CRE practice exams, and by the time you get through this, take all the test questions, you're in pretty good shape. Not only pass the CRE certification exam, but also to be a very effective reliability engineer. The certificate will get you the job knowing the material real well and able to apply it in the real world situation will get you promoted. And like I say, if you can get promoted in this uh, career, you can make a, a lot of money. It's a great certification, one of my favorites. Uh, as you can see, I've passed most of the ASQ certification exams, including the CRE. There it is. I've been helping students for 20 years preparing for this exam, so it's been 20 years of continuous process improvement. So if you need a great class to prepare you, hopefully you'll consider my company, Alpha Training and Consulting. Here's my contact information should you need to get a hold of me. Um, again, thank you for joining me in this video. Have a great day. Thank you, and goodbye.